Hello everybody, this is Alex Big Blue. So, uh, I recently won Simple Simon's, I believe it was 600 subs contest. Uh, and I was very excited to win that, of course. And I always like entering his contest because he's a cool guy and I really like his channel a lot, as does everybody, I think. Uh, but yeah, anyways. Uh, so yeah, I was pleasantly surprised to see I won. And uh, I finally received this ginormous box. Trying to give you guys a scope on how big it is. <laughs> it's pretty impressive. Uh, so yeah, it's a mystery box. I don't know what's in it yet, so I'm going to open this up in a minute. But yeah, it's, it's over. Uh, I did the math on my phone to see. <laughs> it's over 7 pounds, and I think it's close to 8 pounds, or 7 half. I'm not real good with, uh, obviously not good with kilograms, as you can tell, because I had to look it up. But yeah, <laughs> I think it said it was over 7 pounds, so very very uh, cool. I also really like that he has this uh, awesome stamp thing, I guess, that he did this with where it looks like, you know, the black and red, like his logo and, his, of course, his hair, which is really cool. But yeah, anyways, enough ra rambling on. I'm going to go ahead and get this thing open and see what I was in it. Very excited to see it. All right, first off, he has a note, so let's read this. Hey, Alex, congrats on another win and your continued support of the channel. Hope you enjoy the mystery box. If there's anything not to your taste, feel free to move on to the community or put towards your own giveaways. Take care, my friend, from your mate, Simon. Once again, very cool uh, logo there <laughs> with Simon. But yeah, anyways, uh, I don't think it's likely that we're going to have to worry about that because I pretty much like a little bit of everything. So yeah, very excited to see what I was in here. So yeah, let's get right to that. All right, so I'm going to start pulling some things out of here and uh, see what we got here. And I'll try to look at it as I'm filming so you get to see my reaction as well. Oh, nice. Very much on brand for Simon for sure. And also, I don't know if he knew this or not, but he probably may have saw that. Um, in one of the contests where I had to decide who my favorite DC anti-hero was, I actually said it was the Red Hood, so I really like the character a lot as well, so very cool, look at that. Just very awesome for sure. It's a special edition too. This is a really cool looking pop. I really like pops too. I have some of them as I've showed off recently in a video if you haven't saw it, but yeah, this is really awesome. Very cool, very excited to have that. He's one of my, uh, I guess you'd say one of my more favorite DC characters in general too because he's my favorite anti-hero like I said, so alright, see what else we got. I believe there's another pop here. Ah, there is. Nice. Okay. So, Spider-Man Far From Home. It is a Spider-Man stealth suit. It says goggles up. <laughs> I just remember they, uh, what was it they called him? Something monkey on there. <laughs> that, was it Night Monkey? I don't know, anyways. <laughs> that, I actually liked that movie pretty good, by the way. Um, I thought the sequel was a lot better than the first one. But anyways, I liked the first one alright too, but... But yeah, very cool. I actually uh, really like this costume for him, and I thought it was a really cool costume on the movie as well. Uh, but yeah, this is really awesome. I didn't have this one yet either, as you probably expected. Very cool. It shows. I always like to see what it shows on the back of it too. It's kind of cool. But yeah, really, really awesome. So two really cool pops. Look pretty nice side by side too. I might add. All right, now let's see what else I got here. Looks like he's really loaded down with stuff. I'm trying not to pay attention to what it is too much until I show it, though. All right, what is this? We got Batman, black and white, minifigure. Uh, let's see. I have to look off camera so I can see what it says because it's shiny. Okay, so mini fi uh, figure or miniature. So I guess what I'll do is I'll probably open that later on after I see what else is in here and show off what that was, too, I suppose. All right, so very cool. Excited to see what that is. Of course, I love Batman. Who doesn't? <laughs> All right. Let's see what's next. Oh, nice. Very cool. A Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. I forget what that's called. Let's see what it says. HW Screen Time. Is that what it's... Let's see. Very cool. I think... Oh, Milano, maybe? Is that what it... Or is it that? <laughs> Honestly, I don't remember, but regardless, very cool. I really like that. Very nice detail on this. I really dig it a lot. Yeah, very cool. I love the colors on that too, by the way. 
And I love Guardians of the Galaxy 1 and 2, so, by the way, in case you was wondering. <laughs> Alright, see what I got next? Oh, sweet. We got Captain America and the Falcon. A, uh, I don't know why I blanked out for it most, but a journal, I believe. Look at that, got Marvel Comics on it. Very cool. It's, or a notepad, or however you want to slice it. But yeah, very cool, I really like this a lot. I love to ride a lot too, so it's right at my alley for sure. Alright, let me find a space to put that here. Alright, what else do we have? DC Comic Plates. Collector Card Series 2. Oh, it looks really awesome. Very cool for sure. Nice. I don't think I've ever actually saw very many of these before either, but it looks really awesome. Definitely want to check that out. I guess I'll probably open these up with when I do the other things at the end as well. Uh, what else is this? Ooh, sweet. Some Marvel cards. Heroes Reborn, it says on it. We have a Hyperion on the front, if it'll focus in. Yeah, very cool, though. I definitely want to check those out, too. Oh, nice. Got a Simon card, or a simple Simon card, I should say. And a little button. I really like that. I really like that logo a lot. He really did a, a pretty good job with that, for sure. Let's see what else we have here. Ah, sweet. I bet that was tailored to me, being, <laughs> being it was going to be. We got Venom uh, Pocket Pop Keychain. So very cool. I didn't have any pops of actual normal Venom yet. So this is my first Venom pop, I guess you could say. Because I don't believe I had any of the other uh, types of them. I had some Venomized characters in Carnage, but I didn't have Venom yet. So very cool. Very happy for this, for sure. Venom is, is of course, a favorite character. In case there's somebody watching that didn't already know that. <laughs> Alright, let's see what else we got here. Okay, I got this. I believe this is probably going to be the comics. It says, Comics R Us. It has a really awesome Spider-Man on it. Celebrating 25 years anniversary. All right, cool. So, I believe I'm going to have to open this up, and then I'll uh, cut back into it once I get those out. By the way, on the back of the bag, it had Superman. I just wanted to show you guys that, too. But All right, now, anyways, let's get to the comics. All right, get position here. All right, first off, we have... Let's see, oh, we have art by Joe uh, Quesada, or <laughs> Joe Quesada, Quesada, I forget which way you're supposed to pronounce it, Joe Quesada, I think, so let's see what's on this side, art by Ron Liam, very cool, check that out, just really awesome, I love the Hulk, of course, very, very cool, and Spider-Man's really awesome as well, and yeah, it's just really cool, like I said, I like the art for both of those. Very sweet. All right, now let's see what we have next. Oh, nice. Sweet. Uh, it's an Alatross Timeless cover with Colossus on front, as you can see. I did not have this one yet. I am collecting those, so very awesome. And, of course, I love X-Men. They're my favorite team uh, and one of my favorite series to read in general. I don't know exactly which book this is, but I can figure that out later. But, I just, but this is really cool. I didn't have this yet. Very happy to have this one. I love these these covers and I'm trying to collect them like I said so very cool of him to send this <coughs> excuse me I have a, some allergies as always because I live in Kentucky <laughs> but yeah anyways all right next up we have oh nice a kiss cover very uh very on brand for Simon so this is awesome uh Spider-Man the Black Cat Strikes it says game reverse on it very awesome Oh, it's number five. I was looking for the number for some reason. Yeah, it's number five. There we go. This looks really cool. I didn't have this yet. Of course, I love Spider-Man. Who doesn't, right? But very cool. I really like this cover a lot as well. Okay, now let's see what we have next. Wow, this looks really cool. I like the colors on this. We have Teen Titans. Uh, I was Robin. It says, oh, so it's Teen Titans Annual Number 2. That's what it is. Very cool cover on that. So, okay, so we see him walking away from being Robin. That's what we got here. Very cool. I like this this cover a lot. And I also like Teen Titans a lot, so very excited to have that and read that. All right, next up we have, speaking of the Teen Titans, we have the new Teen Titans, uh, number 22. And it says, Three Titanic Tales. 
So it has three different stories, Starfire Unbound, Friends and Foes, and The Secret of Raven. This looks really cool. I didn't have this one yet either. Um, but like I said, I love Teen Titans, so very happy to have that. That looks really cool. I also love stuff that has anthology-like uh, aspects to it, like multiple stories in each book. It's why like Marvel Comics presents so much. And that DC run, too, I forget right now what it's called, but I know you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's really cool as well. Uh, so let's see what we have next. We have Batgirl number 46, City of Statues. This looks really cool. I want to read this one very soon because I'm very intrigued with that cover, to be quite frank about it. Really awesome. We also have uh, Batgirl number 47, so we have a couple of them in a row, and it's Joker War Collateral Damage. Very cool Joker cover. Stakes are always raised when the, when the Joker is in uh, the stories, for sure. So very excited by that. Wow, cool. We got Batman 100. Very awesome cover on this one, showing a lot of the really cool characters, of course. Kind of a who's who of Batman's universe. I didn't have that or any version of that either. So very happy to have that. It's a thick book, too, I can tell. Uh, next up, we have Batman 101, so we have the one that continues that, so that's very awesome as well. Very excited to read those. I always love reading Batman books. I feel like they're always good stories. It's one of the series that just really never, hardly ever misses for me when I read them, so very happy to have that for sure. All right, next up we have, oh, this looks really cool. Okay, Death Metal, Multiverse's End, number one. I have some of the uh, Death Metal books. Didn't have this one yet, though, and I'm very happy to have that end number one. I don't know how many parts it is, but I'm very happy to be able to start here. Just an amazing cover on that as well. So very cool. Definitely right up my alley. I want to read this one soon, for sure. As do I want to most of, or all of them anyways. <laughs> but, you know, certain ones of them especially grab you to start with, I would say. Um, oh, nice. What is this? We got uh, a Wonder Woman 84 cover. It is uh, Future State. And it is uh, Future State, the next Batman number one. So very cool Wonder Woman cover here. I really like that art a lot. Very awesome. It's also a, a thick filling book as well. So very interesting. We also have Vampirella number 16. Very cool. I don't actually, I didn't have too much of Vampirella before. I might have had one or two before, but it... This is definitely the coolest cover one of any of my head. And uh, just really awesome in general. I wanted to read this because I hadn't really read much of her before either. Even though, of course, I know who the character is. For some reason, I haven't. So, yeah, very cool. Like the horror-themed uh, cover as well. Let me just say, by the way, this is a huge stack of comics. So, I'm very impressed and excited by this, quite frankly. So, yeah, anyways. Um, next up, we have Black Widow, number one, variant edition. This is awesome. Look at that. I just love this cover a lot. Very cool. I love the red and black. I like Black Widow. And once again, I love starting at number one. So very cool to get this. For sure. We also have Star Wars The High Republic number one. But as I was saying before the other video cut off, really cool book on this one. And I like that it has uh, number one. So very happy to check that out. I also like Star Wars a lot too, by the way. All right, so that there we have uh, Dread number one of two, very awesome. Final Judgment, really cool cover on that. I like Dread, the uh, mo the second movie, like the newer one, was really good. And we also have Dread two of two. Really love this cover; it's really great. Uh, I was very excited to read both of those. Let's see what else we have. Aquaman number sixty. Your machines may rot. The seas scavenger. Very cool. I really like this a lot. <clears throat> this is probably one of the oldest, it's probably the oldest Aquaman I have, I guess, at this point. So very cool. I really like this a lot, for sure. Oh, nice. We also have Mira number one of a six-issue miniseries, Queen of Atlantis. Amazing cover on this one, too. Check that out. If I don't drop it in, less. <laughs> very cool. Uh, let's see what else we got. Mira. Oh, it's number two. Nice. So we have one and two of that, Queen of Atlantis. At last, the return of Ocean Master. Very cool. Uh, okay, we got a couple more. Let's see, we got the new 52 Batman number 28. 
very awesome. I really love this series, by the way. Have number one of this, so very cool. Very happy to have that one and collect more of that and read it. And then we got Wonder Woman number 760. Very great cover on this. Look at that. Very cool for sure. All right. So just amazing comics overall and great stuff overall for sure. Thanks a lot, Simon. Very generous. Very happy about all of it and excited, of course. Uh, of course, Simon's a great dude. I'll put his link in the description. Check that out. But as I said, I will open up the cards and uh, show you what cards I got too before we're out of here. Okay, first off, I'm opening up the DC Comics plates. Collect your card series two. So let's see what I got in this. Okay. All right. So first off, I got Wonder Woman. Very cool looking uh, card on this one. Really like that quite a bit. It's pretty awesome. Let's see what the. Okay, so let's see who we got next. We got uh, Superman. Classic him carrying a car pose. That's always pretty cool. Alright, let's see what else we got. We have, uh, oh nice, Green Lantern. Green Lantern is one of my favorite overall DC heroes, so very happy to have that card. Very cool. We also have uh, The Flash. Very cool with the film strip there behind him. Oh, <laughs> And we have, uh, let's see, Detective Comics. Very awesome with Batman and Robin. Okay, so that's it for the DC Plates series. Now I'll open up the other ones. Alright, next up I have the Marvel cards open. So first off we have Hyperion. Very cool looking card there. And the next one we have Thor. So very cool already. I really like that card a lot. And Hyperion. Really cool. Um, we have Blade. Interesting. It says Super Villain too. Huh. Very interesting. I said Super Villain on all of them maybe. Huh. Maybe it's just what the pack is called. But either way, really cool characters. Uh, got Mephisto. Very cool. I really like Mephisto. Very interesting. Bad guy, of course. Oh, nice. Power Princess. That is like the uh, basic version of Wonder Woman in this uh, universe, I believe, kind of thing. Uh, we have Nighthawk. Very cool looking character. Very awesome. We have Captain America. Wow, very cool. Can't go wrong with that. Very awesome. It's one of my favorites, of course. We have, uh, what's his name? Blur. Very, very cool on that one. And last but not least, we have the Heroes Reborn, Jason Aaron. Okay, so I guess it's just like the extra card that comes with it. But very cool looking on that, too. <clears throat> and let's see who we got in this. I don't know which one it's going to be yet. This. Alright, I'm going to open it up and see. Who is it? Okay. So it's definitely Batman, so we'll see which one it is. So it is the the Batman Dustin uh, Nyogen. <laughs> I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce it, but anyways, that one. It's a very cool, very awesome statue. Check that out. Very cool black and white look to this one. I really like this a lot. Very interesting. But yeah, very great overall Thanks again, Simon. I really appreciate it, buddy. Uh, you guys sub him up. I'll put his link in the description, like I said. This has been amazing. Made my day for sure. See you guys later. It's Alex Blue.